What did the French teacher say to the class? I don't know. I couldn't understand her. Ah, that's a Bobby joke! Yeah. Yeah, Colin! Love me a good dad joke. I just love Colin in general, don't you? I love me too. I'm very egotistical, so it's great for me. For PR. Yeah. That's right. So, let's waste zero time, Colin. Zero. Okay? Because there are many fat things that happened that we need to tell you all about. Yep, the Tigers played the Tigers in the national championship, and the Tigers just... won. I don't know what to say. Yeah. yeah. Which which Tiger won? The Bayou. The Bayou Tigers. Bayou Tigers. The Bayou Tigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> Go Tigers. Yeah. You ever listen to Coach O talk? Yeah, I have. He's funny. Yeah, yeah we got to, you know, we got to. We gotta go win. We gotta go win, guys. <laughs> you can't understand that, dude. He just always, he's always, go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> go Tigers. That's all That's I right. about. But congratulations to the LSU Tigers. And to Joe, Joe Burrow. Burrow. Yeah. And gonna... Thaddeus Moss breaking the all time um, pass. Touchdown record. It's pretty impressive. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, congratulations to Joe Burrow for being what will be the newest Cincinnati Bengal. Am I right? Probably. Whoever okay. gets the first pick. I don't know who has the first pick. I didn't uh, watch. Someone on the crappy team, yeah. I haven't watched the selection. So. Indeed, he's coming to the factory of sadness, be it the Browns or the Bengals. Prob- well, the Browns have some wins under their belt. Oh, and actually, true. Miami will probably end up with them. Huh. Because I think Cincinnati has like six wins. I'm going to pull up their record. Because I remember the Dolphins got better at the end there. They beat the Patriots and they were coming back, you know. Well, yeah, but they had like five wins by the end of the season. Uh, wow. Expanding across the entire league. The worst team. Oh, you're right. Cincinnati Bengals. Wow, I didn't really. Wow, they're really bad. Two and 14. Oof. Yeah. That's a Oof. rip. No fun there. No, sir. I can tell you they won't be he won't be uh on the Baltimore Ravens, that's for sure. That's definitely true. Yep. Even though they lost. And true. so did the Patriots to Tennessee. This is I feel bad for Colin, but I don't feel bad for the Patriots. But the Baltimore Ravens and the Patriots are two of Colin's favorite teams and he's very sad this week. It's part of the reason he got sick that both of them <laughs> lost. To the sixth seed, mother freaking Titans. I mean, what? They have Mariota, but he didn't play. <laughs> they had Ryan Tannehill. They, they, Lamar Jackson threw for like three hundred and twenty yards or something like that. Seriously, jeez. And he ran for a hundred and twenty something yards. He ran for more and threw for more yards. Then Derrick Henry did run. Wait, hold up. I want to make sure I'm saying this right. Derrick Henry like ran at 10 or 15 more yards than Lamar did. And Ryan Tannehill threw like 200 less yards in the game. And somehow Tennessee still won. I don't know how that's possible. I don't understand it either. <laughs> Makes but, me mad. Yeah, I feel yeah. bad for Colin. You know what else makes me mad? What makes you mad this t- today, Colin? Politics. Because it finally mm. we finally got Pelosi to sign over the papers, I so know. we can end this stupid. Uh, 
I, I, this is how long it's been. I don't even remember what it's called anymore because she waited that <laughs> long. What's it called again? Uh, articles of impeachment? Yeah. Yeah. Stupid articles of impeachment. That's how long it's been. It's been like, what, two weeks? Three weeks? Um, I feel like, well, they did it just before Christmas. So that's almost three. Stupid. Stupid liberals. But yeah. That that's a great point you bring up the whole impeachment BS because Pelosi today, uh, today of the episode, was signing the papers and this is funny. She literally wrote every letter of her name. I'm um, literally every letter of her name in a different pen so she could give them out as souvenirs. What? <laughs> Seriously? This, you gotta watch it. She's sitting there with the papers, and she's got like eighteen pencil or pens stacked in a little case. And she sign one, new pencil, sign one. It's and so this dumb. is all very sad, somber, and regretful thing that they have to actually impeach a president. Oh, I know, liar. Then she's gonna go make money off of it by selling them as souvenirs. <laughs> exactly. It's unbelievable. But um, let's sh- shift gears back to sports real quick. And don't die on me, Colin. Oh, okay. um, don't don't die. That means uh, I won't shoot. die. Or don't touch the gun. Time. Put the gun down now. Whoa! Just kidding. We're not in the same room. Oh, okay. Listen. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> or are we? Listen to this. Okay. We've got four NFL teams remaining, but only one can win the Super Bowl. On the AFC side, Tennessee Titans, Kansas City Chiefs. On the NFC side, Packers. And, uh, who else? I believe San Francisco, correct? San Francisco. Colin, who's Um, winning the Super Bowl? Prediction now. If you missed the prediction, you owe me $50, but I don't owe you anything for anything at all. Go. Whoa. uh, I say Chiefs. uh, hmm. I think the Saints are still in it too, right? Nah, they died. Oh. To the Vikings. Oh, that's right. Just like last year. Yeah. Yeah. You like that? You like that? You like <laughs> that? Um, I see. <coughs> I see the Packers probably winning. Hmm. Um, or the Forty ers The Forty Eight Niners are young. Uh, Jimmy has a little bit of playoff experience. Um, when he played for the Patriots, you know, before we traded right. him. Um, Green Bay, very veteran team. Mm-hmm. So I can see them doing pretty well in the playoffs. Kansas City's just too young for me to think they'll hmm. they'll do good in a Super Bowl. So okay, <laughs> I'll probably say that um, Green Bay or the 49ers end up winning it. All right. Bets are on the line. Yep. Well, um, this brings us to some other people. Have I don't know if we've ever brought up this or discussed it or if you even know who this is, but have you ever heard of Antonio Brown? Uh-huh. What do you know about Antonio Brownie? I know he is an African American man who is very strong and swollen and has no boxing experience. That's a fun fact. Strange that you bring up boxing. Why might you bring up boxing, Colin? Well, I heard this rumor Whoa. that he is fighting a six three Caucasian blonde man. Um mm. and that blonde man is controversial YouTube star Logan Paul. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Poor Colin. Wow. Logan Paul versus Antonio Brown. Well, who do you see winning that one? Um, I don't know. I know I said Antonio Brown like 15 minutes ago before uh-huh. we started the episode. But now that I think about it more, I might say Logan because he's bigger. And Logan's pretty strong. Like, he's... True. He's kind of a big guy, you know, six three, um, blonde, which means he's dumb. But dumb people are pretty good athletes, so it balances sure, sure. out. 
smart people are pretty good athletes too. There's a guy on the Ravens. I don't remember if he's still on the team or not, but he had like some PhD. Really? <laughs> yeah, because they did a commercial where he play. He uh, had a chess he match. Chess. Yeah, yeah, he had a yeah. chess match against like forty students. Hmm. Which I was like, whoa, that's pretty impressive. I wonder if he won that thing. Uh, he beat every single kid. Really? Yeah. Jeez. Well, that is fascinating. Yep. I want to say Logan Paul, but I picked Logan Paul in the hold last up, two Hold fights. up, hold up, hold up, stop. I just threw a tissue behind my head, like 20 uh-huh. feet, into a trash can. <laughs> I think that deserves some recognition. All right, go Let's... ahead. Go ahead with the rest of your story. Okay, everyone drop a like for Colin's trick shot real fast. Yeah. Uh, I want to say Logan Paul, but every time I pick Logan Paul, he's lost, (laughs) which is annoying. Yeah. Uh, Well, I mean, he tied the first one. True. Uh, Yeah, true. Yeah. And he would have won the second one if he didn't do a bonehead move and do an illegal punch. I don't understand how boxing can have an illegal punch. Uh... I don't know, dude. I'm not a boxing expert. Yeah. I'm not either. Uh, in other news, two other fights interesting this week, I think. We got Jake Paul fighting someone. I don't know who. Um, and we've got um, Conor McGregor finally doing another UFC fight against some dude who's a cowboy. Yeah, the Donald Cerrone or whatever. Something like that. So if you're a fight fan, this is the week to be tuning in. Man. Yeah, America versus Ireland. Woohoo! Uh, I this, pick we'd America. Sma- Can you imagine if we? Okay. Hypothetical, America versus Ireland in a war. No help <gasps> from either con. No help from other countries. Who wins? I think America. Instantly. Yeah. So that means the Cowboys going to win on Saturday. <laughs> Go watch it, UFC 246. That's some brilliant logic, color. <laughs> yeah. If they win in a war, they'll win in a boxing match. Wow. That's incredible. McGregor's definitely the cooler guy, though. I mean, the Cowboy guy, I'm looking at him right now. He uh, He's not super scary. Neither of them have, like, really scary bodies because they're both, like, welterweights or whatever. Right. Um, the heavyweight yeah, I think people are pretty I could cool. beat him in a fight, yeah. I wouldn't say that because um, <laughs> he knows, like, karate and tai chi and jujitsu and ninjitsu. You remember ninjitsu, right. the, the spinning The pop? Lego thing? Yeah. Yeah, I bet he knows that, too. They can, like, right. do fire tornadoes, or... Whoa. I guess he's Irish, so what? Potato tornadoes? <laughs> Potato <laughs> tornado. <laughs> that was a very racist comment. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't care. I'm keeping it in there. Okay. Um, That's hilarious. Yeah, so when I don't get elected because they pull up this podcast... <laughs> And I make a racist potato statement. He can blame me. I can blame Josh. So, Josh, <laughs> prepare to be the reason I am not the president. Deal. Uh, you dude, got it, watch bro. that actually happen. Like, watch me get elected right. as president, and then they, like, impeach me because of some racist potato <laughs> statement. That would happen. Oh, that'd be it. That would happen. That'd be my Nancy favorite Pelosi will still be there. Oh, yeah. Gross. Yeah. Um... You know the one woman in uh, Tangled who's like Rapunzel's mother? Mm-hmm. That would be um, Pelosi, only the weed keeps her young and not uh, her daughter's hair. That, yeah. The Liberal potatoes, jokes. The potatoes keep her young. That's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> the potatoes keep her young. Conor McGregor keeps her young. Point is, <laughs> we're going to war with Iran. We're all going to get drafted. We're, and we're all going to die, just so you know. Everyone's going to die. Yeah, Listen and this. for anybody thinking that they'll get drafted into World War Three, the draft was abolished in 1973, so don't worry about anything. That actually blows my mind. What? I heard about that. I, is that actually true, though? Like, they won't have a draft? <laughs> yes and no. 
Um, the draft isn't really a thing anymore, but they could reinstate it pretty easily. Oh, I see. Yeah, so if we needed to, they could make a draft pretty quick. I mean, every man, when he turns 18, signs Has to register. for the draft. So, I yeah. mean, yeah, you would probably still get drafted if we had an, a World War III. But, right, but otherwise you wouldn't be drafted. Yeah. That's an interesting point about getting drafted. I had an interesting thought, okay? So, yeah. in America, we're supposed to have equality, and that's what the the chicks, the feminists, they're constantly fighting for, right? Is equality, am I right? Yes. Equal... Equal. That means no one is higher, no one is lower between mm-hmm. women and men. Mm-hmm. Then why is it, okay, that both men and women can vote, but only men can get drafted into war? Yeah, yeah, you do have a point. Here's what I think. You do okay? have a point. Here's my proposal for my sexist proposal, which I don't mean at all seriously, but... I'm going to say it anyway. Very sarcastic. Josh can still get elected for president from this one. Please elect me still. Listen to this. So, women should either not be able to vote and not be susceptible (laughs) to the draft. No, calm down. Okay. Women should not be able to vote and not be applicable for the draft. Or they should be able to vote and should be applicable for the draft. Uh Uh-huh. Does um, that not make logical sense? It does make logical s- It mm-hmm. makes sense. Is it a legit thing? No. No. But it makes sense. It doesn't quite work like that, though. No. Point is, forget everything I just said. All right. <laughs> but we forgot why we're going to war. There is a country called Iran. Wow. Not, not running... Iran. Iran. In the past tense. Yes. Wow. So. In past tense because they're dead. Uh, no. Wait. <gasps> what the, okay, okay. Some of them are dead. 150 uh-huh. something of them are dead because they, they, shot, their they own shot their own plane down. Uh-huh. It's such a bad thing. I can't believe. <laughs> they, okay. So not one missile. No, 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 no. They shot two missiles <laughs> at their uh, own plane full of their own people. <laughs> Geniuses. How stupid do you have to be to shoot your own plane down? <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Twice. It's so True. bad. We shouldn't be uh, laughing at it, but I mean, it's just so dumb that it's kind of... Yeah. Like Indeed. But I'm sorry, um, sorry for the if any of the family members of those people listen to our stuff. One, that's impressive that you can understand what we're saying because we true. Don't speak They're... Iraqis or I guess that do they speak Arabic? Is that what they speak? They must, I think. I don't know. Do you know any Arabic? No. I don't know any Arabic. But I do. I know. Allah. Wakba, which means <laughs> Akbar. God, God is good. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what that means. I thought that's what they chanted when they were about to kill people. Yeah, because like in Muslim or whatever, in, in Muslim, I you know the Muslim religion, right? It's like you are doing God a good deed by killing Islam. people. Or yeah, right. Islam, Islam. That's that's like a good deed or whatever. So. That's crazy. Yeah, like, God is good, but, like, not really that. He's, well, he's God good. is good, but God killing is, is not good. good. Killing people, on the other hand, not so not. bueno. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah. But uh, let's explain what this whole Iran shindig is for uh, our well-educated audience. Okay. So, what happened? Iran invades U.S. ambassador. Mm-hmm. Ambassador. And and embassy. Yes. And yeah. wait, what did they do? They killed an ambassador. Yeah. Well, I thought it was just an attempt. Did they actually kill him? I heard they killed one dude. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. 
You know what's Which... ironic is they have this, and this literally happened in the new Call of Duty game. Uh oh. It's like Wait, actually? this. Yeah, it's like the Simpsons prediction all over again. I mean, it wasn't. This... <laughs> Did the Simpsons predict nine eleven or something? They predict nine eleven and Trump being president and all sorts of stuff. Whoa! No, dude. That's there's awful. like seventeen things that they predicted that came true. That blows my mind. Yeah, like yeah, liter- literally. So Trump is president, right? Uh-huh. The way he waves in Simpson is the same way that he waved in real life. No way. Like the turning and the amount of waves and like when he turned and everything, literally huh. the same. He's Jeez. from the future. The guy who hit, made Simpson is from the future. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. So okay. what's going on in Iran? We got to focus on the friggin' Iran. So Iran friggin' is like kills our ambassador guy and we're like, nah, dog. And we bomb the crap out of their general. Later we find out that we've been targeting and trying to find that general guy for like seven months. So yeah. this was actually a lot more planned and we didn't just do it out of revenge. We were actually trying to kill him because he was a terrorist. So mm-hmm. he's dead. Oops. Liberals, why would you kill him? He didn't yeah. want to die. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Idiots. Hate mm-hmm. them all. Okay. So um shoot, what happened after that? Uh they had his funeral and he Oh yeah. All the people at the funeral got stampeded on. Like forty you know, people, forty people got killed. That's insane. Yeah. Did you know the Iranian government made that uh, attending that funeral mandatory? Really? Literally, you're you're not allowed to skip that funeral. What they if you wanted lived, like the opposite side of the country. Heck if I know, dude. All I know is liberals stupid. Well, okay, that. Not all liberal people. Are bad. All I mean, liberal people exist. I bet you didn't expect me to say that. I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> I was like, PR is going to have a hard time covering up this one. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Um, that was the story of that. Liberals yeah. being dumb. And then they shot down their own plane, and now we're here. Yeah, a lot of people thought we'd go to war. That was never really a thing. They don't actually want to go to war with the best military on Earth. Yeah, when you only have 4,091... Or wait, no. 1,091 tanks or whatever. Or land vehicles. Mm -hmm. Land combat vehicles. And the U.S. has the biggest air force. And we just bomb all their little tiny cars. (laughs) Just bomb them all, yeah. It doesn't really work out for them. And so they're like, oh, we... Well, we would go to war with you, but, you know, you kind of scare us. <laughs> right. But right now, everybody in my town is dying from the flu, so... Oh. I is that what think... you have? Yeah, I had, like, 103 fever. Um, our post on our basketball team has 105 fever. Oh. Yeah, Joe's dying. Poor but Joe's, Colin. like, legit dying. I was, like, kind of dying. But Joe's probably, like, legit dying, which is bad. Because <laughs> your team's already not that good. Yeah, well, we only have 10 active players right now from everybody being sick and injured. Wow. Yeah. Dang. Try. You can't. And we have a JV and JV2 and varsity <laughs> trying to run those three teams off of 10 players. Do the math. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, that's a rip. Yeah. Go Sisters okay. High School. Woo! Sisters High School! Yeah. We are the third worst basketball team in the state. But it's okay because hey. <laughs> we're third and not last. Hey, you said you were in second place last time I talked to you. Second yeah. Place. We, so you're we, going up. We're go- we went up. Let's go! Yeah, we should have beaten Madras, which would have bumped us up a bit. But that's okay. Uh-huh. We lost That's them right. in overtime. After Aww. they should have gotten a technical, but it's okay. I'm glad it's okay. I'm glad you're okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I, our team 
beat them. The JV2 and JV teams beat them. But Mars mm-hmm. City lost, so no pizza sweep. No pizza sweep. <laughs> well, uh, that's good news. Um, I got about two more important highlights for this past week or so. Uh, there was a ra- <clears throat> poor call. <laughs> Donald Trumpy Trumpy Trump held a rally, yes. campaign rally, yes, with. Mike Pence attending in Toledo, Ohio. Ooh. I live 15 minutes from Toledo, Ohio. Wow. <laughs> Big ballers. Big baller. So, I got up. We dropped off my brother Ben at school. And I got in line at 9 a.m. with my mother, who I know my mom listens to this. She kept me alive. I was going to die, and she bought me a scarf and gave me <laughs> snacks. So, I survived. Waited for hours. It was painful. Oh I figured you just went by yourself, and I was kind of surprised your parents let you do that. True, no, but my mom came, and um, what happened then? Um, yeah, so we got in. Absolutely insane. Trump was amazing, but my favorite part, we got out, and I got to scream and cuss at the protesters. Yeah. If I can, I'll throw in a clip of that right here. Yes. Clip but, included. But you should, like... Beep it out whenever you yell okay. and cuss. Because be, I'll bleep it out. We have very timid audience. Oh, or not not ears. timid. Some of pe- some people are timid. But what's the young uh what's the youngest person you know who listens to our show? Probably Sam. Yeah, probably Sam. Cause he's is he's what twelve? Yeah, he's twelve. I guess they're not that young. Eh, more I know we got like people who are in their forties and stuff listening to this too. We got oh yes we do. And by the way, if you're one of these people we're talking about, do tell your friends to subscribe and listen in because we need <laughs> subscribers. Because if yes, we don't, we have to do we've double gone up. We have gone yes up we have a lot. We're like we've gone up five almost fifty. Yeah. I'm going to the I'm going to YouTube right now. YouTube.com. What kind Questioning of reality, thinking? your channel. Yep, yep. And yep. 42 subscribers. Ooh. That's pretty epic, considering we only get like 20 views. So I don't know how the math works out there. It means you guys aren't doing point. your job and listening to our... Thank you. Um, but yeah. So that's the story of our life. Subscribe. Um mm-hmm. The Democratic debate happened. Trump, no, no, no. Sanders and Warren were all like, nah, a woman can't be president. Nah, a woman can be president. And they went like, bah, bah, bah. They didn't shake hands. End of story. Nothing exciting. Yep. I like how I'm looking at the comments right now, right? Mm-hmm. On our YouTube channel. In uh-huh. our 10 years and 10 minute video. Mm-hmm. Gabe says. It's America and our politics are kind of screwed up. And he quoted me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he said, 2020. You heard it here first, folks. Did I say that I was going to run in 2020? Uh, no, you just said it in 2020. Oh. You I mean, I'll run for president if they let me. I'm pretty uh, You got to sure get a bit any... older, though. Huh? You got to be 35. Uh, I. That's why I said if they let me. Ah. Uh... I mean, they well, they would. It. They'd let me if I asked. They'd be like, right. oh, yeah, you're pretty dope. We'll let you do it. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of Gabriel, go listen to his music. He probably has music somewhere. He did our intro yeah. song, right? Yes, he did. Yeah. Uh, Ga- we got to make him put out a CD. Pretty spicy kid. Spicy kid. Yes. And, Gabe, I know you listen to this like a week after it comes out. Get yep. their friends in Oregon to subscribe. Yes, go get Thanks, some buddy. college music nerds. Yeah, college now, music they're not, nerds. They're not going to listen to this now that I call them music nerds. I can <laughs> call people a music nerd because I play eight instruments, so we're good. Whoa! <laughs> not to flex. I'm pretty awesome. And your arms are huge. Not anymore because I got sick and now I'm skinny. As a rat, Aww. as a wet rat, I'm like 145 I, pounds. 
Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. oh yep. honey, yep. no. We are tiny. I'm tiny. My legs are still big. <laughs> I still got pretty right. meaty legs. And Do you still have those, like, um, wings for shoulder yeah, arm muscles? Massive traps that yeah, literally do insane. nothing for my body. Yeah, they're still there. <laughs> That is good news, friend. Yes. Well, uh, I believe that about wraps up this episode of Questioning Reality. Everything you need in life, plus a little you don't. Thanks for watching. Colin, any wrapping up announcements? No, have a good weekend. Don't dive. Be safe. Don't get the flu. Um, and I will see you on the flip. Bye! Bye!